Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Movie Monster series Ebera 1966. Now, this version of Ebera comes from the 1966 film Ebera Horror of the Deep, or the American title Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, which, you know, it's okay. You know, it's not my favorite Godzilla movie, but at the same time, I don't hate it. It's just an okay movie. Um, it's a, it's a little dull, I'm not gonna lie, but still, it's not a horrible movie. There's no Godzilla movie that I'd say is outright horrible, but that's a tangent for another time. But yeah, even Ebera, like, Ebera's not really my favorite, like, monster in the Godzilla series. Um, yeah, even as a kid, I wasn't a big fan of Ebera. Nothing, like... I didn't hate Ebera at all. I thought Ebera was, like, cool, but compared to other monsters like King Ghidorah and, like, Mechagodzilla, I don't know. Ebera was just kind of boring to me, but I digress. Um, Actually, when I was a kid, like, despite not really liking Ebera, I still actually, like, really wanted a figure of Ebera. Because um, I felt like, you know, I had a bunch of the old, like, Bandai Creations figures. I felt like, okay, I could find a lobster in this size, or a toy lobster in this size, and just call it Ebera. And that'd be that. Um, <laughs> the closest thing to an Ebera figure I've ever gotten to before this guy. Um, I went to a Chinese buffet with my dad once. Uh, my dad and my sister. And um, they were serving crayfish. It just so happened that I had this little figure in my pocket. So I grabbed a crayfish. I brought it to the table. And I started playing with my food. And... My dad, you know, he grew up with the Godzilla movies, so, uh, you know, a little... How old was I? I think I was, like, 10, I want to say? 10 or 11, something like that. Maybe younger. I forget. It was a while ago. But anyway, I'm like, Dad, look, it's Godzilla versus the sea monster. And he just responds with, eat your fucking food. Thanks, Dad. You cold-hearted bastard. Childhood trauma aside, let's take a look at the tag here. And the tag here looks very nice. Uh, the front here, we have a nice picture of Ebera being airborne, which didn't happen in the movie. At least not without Godzilla, but that's a bit of a tangent. Uh, also, it's black and white for some reason. I don't really get that. But anyway, anyway, um, the bottom here, we have Ebera, 1966. And the little Godzilla 2023 emblem right here. For the back, we have a nice silhouette of... Ebra's parts, because you can very clearly see his legs here, but then you have this, you know, bit of mass here, so this, that could be anything, but I digress. Uh, Ebra versus the sea monster. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's what it says in Japanese there. Uh, movie monster series and the Bandai logo in the corner here. For the inside, we have a bunch of uh, Japanese writing that I cannot read, as well as a nice little silhouette of Ebra here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tag here. Now, going back to the actual figure itself, of course, we're going to start this review by talking about the paint. And the painting on this figure is surprisingly very nice. So let's take a closer look at this. So as you can see here, uh, the entire figure is casted in this uh, red vinyl material, which you know, is fitting. He's a lobster after all. And he was this color in the movie, so there's that. And the thing that's really cool here is that there's a lot of dry brushing here. Like, it's um a lot of like dry brushing of like this uh, blackish color, which looks really nice like this is something you almost never see on a bandai vinyl so seeing it here is actually really cool you know i mean the uh, inside of the claws here uh they're not painted which is a little bit of a shame but it's not the end of the world because you know the rest of the painting like throughout the body here like just that dry brushing looks really nice so again like to see this on a bandai vinyl is really cool so yeah the dry brushing here looks great and also the eyes here as you can see, are painted red, or a more, a more vibrant shade of red, I should say. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for the painting on this figure. Um, not a lot, but what's here is very nice. The dry brushing here, again, like we almost never see dry brushing on Bandai vinyl, so seeing that here is actually really cool, and it looks really nice on this figure. So, yeah, painting on this figure. You know, there's not a lot, but it's still very good considering, you know, for a Bandai vinyl anyway. So, the painting on this figure, I'd say definitely gets a pass. Now, we'll take a quick look at the articulation. And the articulation on this figure, I mean, 
it's a Bandai vinyl, and a Bandai vinyl of this design, you're not going to get a lot of points of articulation. In fact, only the arms can move. Like so. So, yeah. Not a lot, but like I said, this is a Bandai vinyl, so this is not the end of the world whatsoever, and it's fine. You know, I'm totally fine with this. It, it like, I know I sound annoyed. I, I don't know. I'm tired. You gotta understand, but like... No, uh, the lack of articulation, I think, is fine for this guy. So, yeah, um, the articulation here, I'd say gets a pass. Now, uh, we'll take a look at the sculpting. And the sculpting on this figure, I think, looks very nice. I think, um, you know, this looks very close to what we see in Ebera Horror of the Deep. Um, obvious, it's a Bandai vinyl, so obviously they're going to take, uh, you know, some artistic liberties, or make some sacrifices, I should say. But... You know, besides that, you know, I think, um, for the most part, I think this is a very faithful representation of Ebera from, you know, Ebera Horror of the Deep. And, really quick, I just want to say, you know, like, Ebera was never my favorite Godzilla monster, and to be fair, he still isn't really my favorite Godzilla monster, but still, I think, um, I really do like Ebera's design still. Like, I know, like, you know, he's a giant lobster, essentially, but, I don't know, he has that, like, Showa charm to him. That you see in, like, movies like, um, like, the original Rodan. You know, because, like, that movie had, like, I forget what the name of those insects were, but... Anyway, yeah, the original Rodan had, like, these insect creatures, and that's what, um, Ebera kind of reminds me of. You know, just, like, that, like, um, Ebera, he just oozes with that, like, Showa-era, like, uh, you know, tokusatsu design, and I love that so much. So, yeah, say what you want about Ebera, but... His design is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, the sculpting on this figure looks very nice. So the sculpting here, I'd say gets a pass. Now, uh, we'll take a quick look at the detailing. And the detailing on this figure is very solid, so let's take a closer look at that. So starting off at the claws here, we can see that the detailing here is very nice. Uh, all of the uh, ridges and bumps and everything like that are detailed very nicely, very well defined. And same with this claw here, again, just a lot of really nice detailing. Same with the face here, all the ridges and all the little bumps and whatnot are detailed very nicely. Again, just a lot of great detailing throughout. You know, the uh, exoskeleton here, um, again, just a lot of great detailing here. The little spikes on top here, too, again, these are, uh, these are detailed very nicely as well. And going back to the paint really quick, I think, um, yeah, the dry brushing really makes the detailing on this figure pop. So, yeah, I think, um... The reason why the detailing looks particularly nice on this figure is because of the dry brushing here. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. But anyway, um, even the antenna here has a lot of uh, really nice detailing. And, of course, the other antenna does, too. The legs. The detailing here looks really nice, though. Again, going back to paint, I wish the legs were dry brushed a little more. But I digress. But still, the detailing here looks nice. And same with the tail here. Again, all the little uh, bumps and uh, cracks and whatnot detailed very nicely in all of the little uh, bits of fur down here that looks great and even the tail has a nice bit of detailing as well of course the underside we have a lot of nice uh very lobster-esque sort of detailing here which looks great there's a little beard here is uh detailed nicely and there's a little lobster mouth here and yeah uh, that's pretty much it for the detailing on this figure uh the detailing here i think is um you know, I think it is very solid, so the detailing on this figure, I'd say definitely gets a pass. Now, we'll do some size comparisons. Here we have the Bandai Creation, Godzilla 1968. Here we have the Bandai Movie Monster Series, Daimajin. Here we have the Bandai Ultra Hero Series, Ultraman. Here we have some hand sanitizer. Here we have Dr. Billy Grant. And because I still have him by my desk, here we have this little Godzilla toy I had from when I was a child. So at the end of the day, should you get this figure? I'd say yes on this. I think um, this is a very nice figure here. You know, uh, the painting on this figure, as simple as it is, I think it's very effective as far as making this figure look nice. You know, I think the sculpting looks nice, the detailing looks nice, you know. Uh, the lack of articulation, well, it's a Bandai vinyl, that's something you really shouldn't be complaining about. And even the size, I think this is a pretty decently scaled, um, Ebera figure. I think he scales well with, um, 
Maybe not the Bandai Creation Godzilla, you know, 1968 figure, but maybe the other Bandai vinyls of Godzilla. So, yeah, overall, I do recommend this figure, and I think, um, yeah, this is a nice figure. I definitely recommend that you pick him up. Uh, as far as price tags go, uh, I got mine without shipping. I got mine for about, like, like 26 bucks, which is not bad at all. Uh, Ebera figures are usually very expensive, so having an affordable Ebera figure, I think, is very nice, so... Yeah. Anyway, definitely get this figure if you can. I really like this thing, you know. Despite not being the biggest fan of Ebra, I'm so glad I picked this guy up because, you know, like I said, this is a very nice figure. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Zek out.